Hi everybody, it's Christina and thank you for joining me. So today I'm staying with the parchment theme and this time I'm going to use alcohol inks with it. Now you may have alcohol inks that you've got to refill your pens but if you don't you can always use your pens as they are. You can always use pens to create your backgrounds. Now there's lots of different brands of, of alcohol inks in markers or in pens. Just use what you've got. These are Spectrum Noir but these are Tim Holtz Ranger ones and I've had these absolute years. Now I've also got some isopropyl and I'm using that on my cards. Now with isopropyl the higher you get it the better. Mine is 99.9 .9, and that just means it's not diluted with too much water. This is alcohol blending solution. Now this is a lot more expensive than this. I've decanted some of my isopropyl into a squeezy bottle and some into a spray bottle. Now these are my alcohol inks. These I've had these a long time and these are metallic ones so you need to shake them up really well to mix the colours in and they are all different colours for you to add to your pen. So the papers that I've got are double sided adhesive sheets, my parchment which is heavy duty and my gold and silver to back my cards. I've also got um, a little puffer to blow the inks around and I've also got a little, little tool, a little um, blending tool and on this I've just bought some cheap um, felt and I've cut it down to fit my, uh, my little block and that's going to help me put my colours onto my card. Now these are some of the cards that I've made but these are some of the backgrounds that I've made as well. So they've all got gold and silver added onto them and these are some that I've made separately. So this is a stripy one, this is some with gold foil on it, this is red and gold stripes and this is blue and green gold stripes. Now this one is my favourite and to this one I've added some gold foil, just little bits and this one is the same as this one and I'll show you how to make this to get two for the price of one. So I've got two sheets of my parchment and I'm going to cut this down. This is A4 parchment. I'm going to cut this down so that it's cut in half. So before we start, some, let's have some safety precautions. Wear rubber gloves, otherwise your hands will end up covered in the alcohol ink. Make sure you work on a, a really sturdy surface. This is a glass mat. I've put paper and some kitchen roll down and there's my piece of parchment. Now either open your window, put a fan on or wear a mask or do all three but the fumes on this can be quite strong and they can give you a headache so please take care. I think we'll use the silver first. Now the top is sealed so you will need some scissors just to snip that top off just a little bit. So let's use the little blending tool so I'm going to use the pale pink and the dark purple, the, the dark violet one. And then I'm going to spread at the bottom with some silver. And now if you hold your parchment we'll still, cross the paper. So there's our piece, I've dried it off and that's the one with the lilac and the silver. The pink has almost disappeared in it but it doesn't matter. Now the thing with alcohol inks is if you don't like what you've got, even after it's dried, you can still come back in and change it. Now if you don't like the swirly look on it, you can always use this as a, as a dabber. So you can just dab your colours over the parchment. And we'll add a little bit more silver into this and we'll add this direct to the paper. Now 
Now before your alcohol dries you can take some of your foil and you can run your foil over the top. So I'm just using a brayer just to make sure it's stuck down to the, the card. So once you lift your foil off you will have some silver stuck to the sticky areas on your card. So now you can pop that on one side and leave that to dry fully. So there's the stripy one that we did and this is one where we just pounce, pounce the colour on to the parchments. So there's two absolute favourite. I love this one. So we'll need a piece of parchment. So for this one I've got my three colours and I've got my isopropyl. So one is a violet one is a blue and that's a dark, very dark turquoise. So we'll try these. So what we're going to need to do is fill the dropper and we need to hold this up. So we're going to run our colours along the edge and let them run down. Now you will need your isopropyl for this. So all you're going to do is just squirt this on and let this run down. You're going to let that run all the way down to the bottom. Now while that's still running we'll take some of the other colour and I'm not sure how much different this one will be. So we may need to swap out the colours. Yeah they're very similar. Some very yeah, deep too maroon um, ink in my stash and I've run that down the side. So we we'll can dry that off now with the heat tool and then we'll carry on with the other side. And now at the top I'm going to add in some of the silver and again we'll add the isopropyl just to make it run. We'll tilt it all the way down the card and you can see it in streaks. Now on the other one I used gold, on this one I've used silver. So for this last piece of parchment we're going to use two pieces that are the same size. I'm going to put one of them down on our sheet. I'm going to add the, um, the colours on, so this is a green. And I've no idea what it will turn out like. This is a citrus yellow. And this is a blue. So we'll put this down in different areas. Now on the last one I used the gold, so on this one I think we'll use I think we'll use the copper. So we'll give it a good shake and then we'll add some bits to the colours. And now we're not going to do anything with that other than place the other piece of parchment over the top. We're just going to add that on there and rummage it around with our fingers. Now once you lift that up, you will have two pieces that have the same colours on them. You can add more colour in there if you wish. So we'll add a little bit more copper. And we'll add the paper on the top again. Now depending on how you drag it off, we'll add some more pattern. So there we've added some more pattern to the card and it's a mirror image. So there's some parchment now coloured the same for male cards. This is some parchment now that's been coloured for female cards. So you've got a variety of, of things to do there. Now once you've done that, 
that can be die cut into shapes like this one this one is done the same this has got gold flakes on it and that's now can cut with the um, torn edge dies this is cut into hearts that's just used one as a panel and there's another one with different colours on it that's been cut into a panel so these are the ones that we've created in today's session we've done the stripy one we've done the splotchy one we've done that stripy one we've done this beautiful um, it's like a polished stone effect there's another stripy one and as I said this is my favourite so I'm going to choose two and I'm going to make cards out of them and then I'll show you what we've got so to clean up just squirt your isopropyl around on your glass mat and wipe it off so here are the two cards that I've just created with the parchment and the alcohol inks this is a very much a male themed one and this could be for either and there are some of the others that I've created again male themed um, but can be really for any any occasion any person so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one and why not subscribe to my channel click the notification bell then you'll always be aware when I add a new video thank you so much for joining me I'll see you again soon bye for now